me tell you this. You know, I've said it so many times. You know, doing this job is tough in lots of ways, okay? It's really tough. Let me tell you this, though. I was in Morgantown not long ago. Now, I was at McDonald's drive-thru, and I always drive myself, okay? I don't let the troopers drive me, because the times they drive a little crazy, to tell you the truth. So I drive myself. Now listen to me. This is really important. God gave you the ability to smile and to laugh. People around you love to be around people that are fired up and enthusiastic and have a big smile and like to laugh. You know I'm right. You don't like to be around somebody that's dragging along being a stick in the mud all the time, do you? You know, you want to be around people that are happy and doing something and excited about what they're doing. You'll find that enthusiasm is really contagious. Now, all of you are probably dealing with something that's pretty tough. Every last one of you. You know what? This journey that you're on, and you might as well just suck it up. And you might as well know that this journey is tough, and it's probably even going to get tougher as you go forward. But you know what? You have now a network of people that are trying to help you, and you have absolutely the good Lord above that looks out after you every day that begs you to reach out to Him. You have the tools, and you know what else you got? You got you. Look at you. Just look how good you really are. It's amazing. It's truly amazing. Now, and you got this great big giant governor here that's sitting on this stool that, believe me, be, is really sturdy because it's got a load on it. And you know, really, you know this, you know that I've been a coach forever. Forever. I've probably coached almost 1,300 games. It's unbelievable. You know why I coach? I coach because I love kids. This is my best days. I started saying it just a second ago. These are my best days when I'm with kids. It's tough for me to go. You get a lot of junk thrown at you all the time. You don't like it. You don't like it and you wonder, well, what in the world, why are they doing that that's not true? It's just what I said about smiling and laughing. Now what I was going to tell you about the state police and what happened just the other day is I was going to a McDonald's right here in Morgantown. And there was two ladies that didn't recognize who I was, or not, not right here, but in Morgantown. And I paid them. And they were looking, there was a state police cruiser that was sitting over there that was following me. And they were looking at it. And so I, I was shocked that they didn't recognize me because I'm eight foot tall and weigh 700 pounds. So everybody should recognize me. You know, and I'm just teasing. But then I moved up to the next window and there was two ladies there and they said, what are they doing here? They were looking over there. Now the governor's sitting right in front of them. And they said, what are they doing here? And then they said, well, look, they got somebody. They got somebody because they had somebody in the back seat. And that was a lady that works at my office. <laughs> and then since I was driving one of the state police vehicles, I said, well, how about this? And I just flipped the lights on the vehicle and turned the siren on. And when I did, that lady screamed, holy crap. It's another cop. <laughs> and so she thought I was a cop, you know, and everything. But nevertheless, I want you to know you're not laughing enough. You should have really laughed when I told you that. Because it was really fun. Really, really fun. But I want you, I just want to relax you just a little bit. Listen, let me tell you this. A long, long time ago, and I told 
your communities and schools people that work with you all the time. You know, I told them that there's an athletic director that looked at me and he said, you know, kids know if you like them. You know, they really do. And I'll promise you, to the good Lord above, that when I tell you I love you, I do. I really, truly do. I can tell you this, you, you can't imagine how valuable you are. Every last one of you. Now if I told you this, this and you'd be honest with me, if I said, how many of you have some problem you're dealing with? No matter what it be. How many of you do? Just raise your hands. Put your hands back there. How many of you know somebody within your family that is no somebody or is somebody or somebody's dealing with all this drug problem? How many people do we know somebody? Just know somebody. Doesn't have to be in your family. Just know somebody that's dealing with it. It's tough, isn't it? You know, every both of those, I would raise my hand too. You know, I'm dealing with a problem. I absolutely have people in my family that are have, you know, have a drug problem. Does that mean that I'm not valuable? Does that mean that I'm not important? Does it mean that you're not important and that you're not valuable? You are. The best thing you can do in life, the very, very best thing and, and the most thing you can do that make me the proudest is be proud of yourselves. Hold your head really high. Now, if I were to ask you this question, I'm going to give you a tidbit of wisdom here. If I were to ask you, what do you got to do to get better in life? What do you got to do to get better? What would you say? Come on, talk. You got to talk to me. Time management. What? Time management. I can't hear you. Time management. Time management. That's one thing. What else? What do you got to do to get better? <coughs> respect. Respect people. What did you say? Are you going to say something? What were you going to say? I'm sorry? And that is really, really, really close. I'll come back and just say, yes. Planning out a career. What did you say? Planning out a career. That's good too. Planning out a career. What do you got to do to get that? You got to see the yes. Oh. <coughs> what did she say? Got to keep trying. What did she say? Got to keep trying. Keep trying to get better. Got to work. Y'all got to talk really loud. You got to want it for another. You got to want it for another. Is it right? You got to set a goal. Set goals? Yes, sir. Find you someone you live up to. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly right. You, sir. Uh, um, I, go, I go through your plan. What did he say? Go through your plan. I think I. Tell me what he said. That's right. That's right. Don't give up. Man, you gotta come here. And you gotta Let me tell y'all something. Now, what did you say? That's the very foundation of your whole life. You think about it. 
Think about it. If you're shooting a basketball like this, and I'm trying to teach you to get better, and I and I tell you, you know, you, you need to have, you know, you need to have your right elbow in, your left elbow out, you, you know, this, this hand sits like this on the ball, this hand sits behind the ball, and everything, and, and you say, now I'm gonna practice this, how long can you practice it? It ain't gonna work. If I tell you just this, what do you gotta do in life to get better? You got to admit you're doing something wrong. Now just think about it. If you were an alcoholic, until you're willing to get up and stand in front of people and say, I'm screwing up, I'm an alcoholic, you're not gonna get any better. The very foundation of what you do when you're saved in the church, what do you do? You walk up and say, I'm screwing up. I'm doing something wrong. Listen, if you'll just give in to that, remember through your life, you don't have to, you don't have to hide behind anything. We all do stuff wrong. My good Lord, if you knew the number of things that I did wrong, we would list them on these walls forever. Absolutely, just remember, please, please, please remember to just do that. What the screw up? Everybody screws up, and you get better. Listen, y'all listen in. I'm really proud of you. I really mean it when I tell you that I love you. My wife has really started the community and schools effort. She really worked hard at it and everything to go statewide. You know, in Green Park County is where it all started. You know, in Greenbrier County, every single kid in communities and schools, 100% graduation rate from high school. It's amazing. 100%. If you want to be somebody in life, you got to be somebody. If you want to absolutely just go through life and things be pretty tough, how long, my, my very last thing will say, how long do you think you'll live? If you stay healthy, how long will you live? What is the age that you'll probably live to? Now let that guy answer. Wait a minute, everybody be quiet. Everybody, what's the age? You. 91? How old are you? At what? 13. What's 90, 13 from 91? Got to get it right. Come on now, what's 10 from 91? What's 3 from 81? That's 13. Okay. Think about it. Think about one thing. Now, stay with me. This is going to take five seconds. Stay with me. Look right at me. Don't be looking down. Y'all not don't be looking down at anything. Look at me. Look at me. If he thinks you're going to live to be 91, and he's 13 years old, 78 years, you're going to live a tough, tough life if you don't now in your life make decisions to go this way instead of that way. You have got to make decisions. 78 years is a long time to be just walking around on the street or something like that. That's a long time. You can all do it. You can everyone do it. You got all kinds of people who love you, love you to to death. Now you gotta come here a minute. I gotta talk to you just one second. Come here. What's your name? Jalen? How about my man's haircut here? <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go. Proud of it.